The former governor who described security as fundamental in the developmental process of any nation said the minimum any government in the world can do is to protect the lives and property of its citizens. He expressed worry over insecurity across the country, especially in northern Nigeria, saying it is unacceptable under democracy. Whether there is enough attention or not, I think the result is not good enough. And, uh, especially the Nigerian military has to stand up to its own responsibilities. Engineer Kwankoso pointed out that a situation where criminals who are now terrorists with known location and identity are attacking innocent people on roads, villages and towns should not be acceptable to any leadership. Initially, many people are talking of insurgency. Uh, today, in my own opinion, it's purely a, a situation where you can call it a conventional uh, war because they yeah. have a divine yeah. place. Uh, everybody knows in the villages and towns. You don't have to be in the intelligent community to know where these uh, people who are killing Nigerians are living. According to the former governor, Nigerians are willing to give the required information for the military to operate, but the conducive atmosphere must be created for them to do so. This issue of insecurity has escalated to the level of the military. But you see where we are, in my own opinion, the main issue today has to do with our own uh, military. The people are ready to provide information uh, even at the risk of their own lives and their own properties. Many people are doing that. He therefore called on President Buhari to exhibit the political will, determination and the provision of logistics necessary to execute the required operations in order to end insecurity in the country. Normally in leadership it is your critics that will say that you have done your best. But for you, you should always room, leave room to say that uh, you are looking at this and you are willing to improve and give hope to the people. Engineer Kwankoto also condoled the government and people of Sokoto State over the killing of 42 people set ablaze in a bus in December 2021. Josephine Beatrice, Liberty News.